Okay, so in this video, I thought I would show how I clip my uh, tip nails. Uh, as you can see, I already have sorted and glued on all the tips. They're clear because we're going to do some uh, glitter inlay on these or try it. Um, it's very important that you make sure that this is not wider. I don't know if you can see that or not make sure that that's not wider than your nail. So what I would do, is see I've already clipped this hand, always clip um, longer rather than shorter because you can always file this down but you can't add on. So that's really important. And um, as you can see there's a little bit of a ridge right there between the natural nail and the tip and so we're going to file to get rid of that too. Um, the only thing, other thing I was watch is not to get them crooked while you're gluing them on. And I use this, uh, tool right here. I got that from Walmart. It's a really handy little thing. Cuts tips really nicely. I was using, uh, toenail clippers before this, and let me tell you, this is, makes it a lot easier. It's very affordable. It's like five bucks at Walmart or something. So what I do is I just judge it. I, I go by eye. I don't measure anything, but what I, what I do is I just go down about as far as I think that I want it. And then I think it's about right there. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then just clip that right off. And then I always try to judge it. Looks pretty good. So I go do the next one, and clip that about halfway. It's a little harder to do when I'm showing you guys, but then we see if it looks like the other one, and just keep going. About right there. And if you do clip one crooked, it's not a big deal. You can always file that out. So we're going to keep going there. I hope you guys can see this. this. That just does a really nice job of clipping those off. Now always look. Now this nail I did glue on just a little bit crooked, but I'm going to see if I can save it by filing it out. I think it's just a little crooked. But I think, I think we can save it. We'll definitely see. So we're done with that now. And what I do is I take, I love these white files from, and you can see this is well used. Um, this came from Sally's. They're like $1.50, if that. And then what I'm gonna do is, there's a little ridge right here between the natural nail and the tip. And you'll be able to feel that with your finger. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to file that down just a little bit. Mostly filing on this tip. you got to be careful not to file this natural nail too much because you can get in a lot of trouble. As you can see, this is a little bit red right here. The other thing I'm going to concentrate on is, I don't know if you can see, but, the, but where that tip comes down right, right to the nail line right there. I'm going to really get in there like with a file and try to file that down really really smooth and the reason is because if you're gonna have any kind of lifting that's where it's gonna lift right there so you want to make sure that that's nice and smooth against your nail and it is it's a bit of a process you know and you're gonna you're gonna get your cuticles see and I just push that in there and I'm trying to get that that little corner really, really smooth. Really smooth, really straight, really down right to the nail. You can see, and you can feel that with your finger too. So, I'm filing mostly on the tip here. And it's not gonna matter, because it's, it's gonna come out clear and it's gonna be really pretty. So we're gonna file on that a little bit. See, and it's, and it's starting to get better. That ridge is starting to get better. That, that 
little tip right there is really, really pretty smooth now. So let's file him a little more. Make sure that you get those tips. And then, then I would start to, I like a more of a coffin, coffin shape. So the way I do that is I angle my file and take down the sides. So I'll show you here. So we're gonna really just angle that in, kind of get it the way we want it before we start dipping. Uh, acrylic dip. So we're gonna just keep filing here. And anything, you know, I, I clip them a little bit longer because you can take this hand file and file that down. You can file that down, make it a little shorter if you want to. You could round these edges off. Um, and I just give it a good buff because you want your dip to stick to this. So it gets a good buff. And you can see how this nail is really starting to shape up. I really like it. I get kind of a I hope you're seeing all that. I try to get her straight there. I like my nails long, but in your world, you can do what you want with your nails. I like mine longer, but you don't have to be long. You can be shorter. You can do what you want. But I like this length. And then a lot of filing in this process. A lot of filing. And you're gonna you're gonna check this out from all angles. Just make sure that you like it. Look at it from the side. Look at it from the top. Make sure it's straight across right there. And if you don't like it, keep going. It's always... See, and there's like that little plastic thing right there. I hope you can see that. So we want to make sure that comes off before we start dipping. Because we get in a lot of trouble if we don't. Sometimes I'll take my file and flip out like that just to make sure there's no hanging pieces like that right there. See that little piece? I want to make sure that's gone. That's just where we're, we're filing down the sides. I'm no way professional or anything. I'm just trying to show you how to save a little money and do your own nails. I'm not um, promoting anything. Most of my supplies I brought I bought from Sally's. I kind of like this shape right here. I think we're good. I think that's pretty good. It's nice and smooth. I don't feel that ridge too much. And if there is a bit of a ridge there, we'll take care of that with the with the acrylic dip. Put it right there, and it'll go away. Makes a nice steady foundation for it. So that's a little tip on filing. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of these. Most, like I said, most of my stuff I bought at Sally's. Um, these clear tips came from Sally's. You don't have to use clear. The only reason I'm using clear is because of the inlay glitter I'm going to do. Um, I do have, I do have a set of white also. And if I'm just going to paint my, if I'm going to paint my, uh, polish and polish, this is what I'm going to use, this white. But I decided to go clear this time. Just for something new and something different. So that's a little bit of the way it should look before you start dipping. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my nails. And I'll see you in the next video.